Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to day four of the 10 day wire gift making challenge. Today we're going to make some lovely candle holders and what you're going to need for this project are a mason jar or a little shot glass jar, a little jar that will fit a tea light candle or there's an option just to use the candle. You'll need your tools, 18 gauge wire and some 16 gauge wire or one or the other. So the first design is very simple. It's just a ring of wire with these cute little spirals dangling down. So this is a shot glass from the dollar store but you can also use a mason jar and so here's the mason jar here and what you're going to have to do is just measure around the outside of whatever container you're using uh, and then we're going to divide it up to know how many little loops that we have to make. So just bring this around here you could do inches or centimeters and just bring it all the way around so we have an idea of how big it is. So we're going to bring this around here and it seems to be about eight and a half inches. So I cut about 15 inches of the 18 gauge wire and I'm just going to do loops about every three quarters of an inch. So if you have a jig you could definitely set it up on the jig but if you don't have a jig just go ahead and like measure it make them closer together if you want. I made them a little closer together on the original sample so as long as they're more or less the same distance apart that's great. So once it measures about eight and a half inches you'll have a little bit beyond here and a little bit beyond there for a total of eight and a half inches then you're going to attach it to your mason jar. So you're just going to get this here and you can go ahead and just kind of round it around to start. It doesn't have to be exactly where you're going to place it on the mason jar but just to make it more round and then you're going to decide where you want to have it. So if you want to just have it sort of here on the lip of the jar that's great and just make sure that these kind of line up a little bit. They're actually really good and so then go ahead and bend this one out at a bit of a right angle to what is about halfway. So just have the pliers in your hand, bring this one around here, hold this in place, take the end and just bring it around because you want it to be snug enough that it's going to hold in place. So just bring it right around, make sure it's tight, looks good. Even if it comes off and on it's, it's okay too because that way you can always clean the jar. So clip that little end off and then just push it in a little bit and then this end we're going to just bring it around and also clip it. So we're going to bring that one around here, clip it and then just get it in place. So there you're all set up to dangle your beads. You can also just use your flat pliers to make sure these are sticking straight out flat. So just go around, give them a little pinch if you have to and then they're just going to stay sticking out like that. So for the spirals you're just going to take your 18 gauge wire, cut this one flush and then you're going to form the spirals in whatever preferred way you have to form your spirals. So if you're starting from the end just bring it around and then just gradually kind of bring it in to form your spiral. You can also if you don't want to make the spirals you can just use head pins that would be totally fine or make your own head pins but the spirals make it a little more fancy. Uh, you can do a variety of things. You could do like little icons at the bottom of your of the head pin type things. You could do little hearts, you can do little stars, you can do little music notes, you can hang down charms. Uh, the sky is the limit for this and I'm sure you guys are going to make some amazing things and share them in the group. So there we go. We have the spiral and that's up at a right angle and then we're just going to fill it up with beads. So I'm going to put a larger six millimeter faceted bead there and then I'm going to put 
a uh, seed bead and then a clear seed bead and then a turquoise seed bead here. So now what you're going to do is you just want to cut this one to about 3 8 to half an inch. We'll just bend it back so it's parallel to the piece and then bend this one around and then it's ready to put on our jar. So we're going to bring that over and close it up, close the space and there you have that hanging on the jar and we'll do the rest of them. So here's the finished candle holder. You just have to pop the candle inside and like I said you can embellish it with any kind of danglies that you like. Now if you don't have a jar I came up with this funny little easy design that you can do with 16 gauge wire that you just stick like the little tea light candle or any candle on top. So I'll show you how to make something like that. So I cut a 36 inch piece of wire and what we're going to do to start is just bend it maybe about six to eight inches from the outside and just take your round pliers and just give it a little bend. Now this is one of my favorite easy designs just to do a little heart so you just pull it in like that and then you can get a round form and just make the heart shape. So just bring it in here and it really depends on how big your candle is. So you're going to bring it in here and then bring it in here just to make your heart shape. Now you can do any shape you want for this candle holder. This is just a basic kind of idea of something you can do if you don't have a jar to put it in and you guys can use your imagination if you want to do other kinds of shapes like musical shapes or stars or anything you like. So what we're going to do is start with the heart and you can give it a bend if you want you know that's not a problem at all if you want it more like secured you can just take this and give it a little twist around that could be really cute too it's got a little lopsided but that's fine too so we're going to bring it out here and then if you want to add a little bit of detail to the side you can do that as well just because we have some extra wire. So if you want to go ahead and maybe just do some circles, you can do that. So just take this, bring it around, do a little circle. You can write someone's name. That would be super, super cool to do someone's name for the candle holder. A letter, like their first letter could go in the middle instead of a heart. Uh, really, these, these ideas are just things for you guys to bounce off. And if you have other ideas, as long as it's uh, somewhat related as a candle holder, that would be great. So we've got those three here. And then we're going to go to this side and do three there just to make it a little bit symmetrical. Now this is super awkward filming underneath my tripod here because of the long piece of wire. You can hear it scratching everywhere, but you get the idea. So we're just going to go around try to make these even. You could do this on a template I guess if you wanted to but I'm just gonna freehand it right now. Bring that here and then maybe one more to make it symmetrical. Bring that around and so we have sort of our basic shape. I have another tutorial for a candle maker that was really cute as well. I can link that up below but so this is our starting point and then if you want to form it around like in a circle. I have my pill bottles here, my trusty pill bottles, and we're just going to bring these around. You can actually make a kind of a spiral with the longer one. So how I like to make my spirals is I get my cone, bring this here, and I'll just wind it up the comb. Now you can keep in mind how much wire I cut. I cut about 36 inches which is probably way too long but if you're doing more detail in here you want a decent amount of wire. So let's just go ahead and do it like that and then the idea is you want this to be able to sit on the base. So let's just bring it around. I'm just going to start to form what will be the base. It doesn't have to be like a completely solid base. 
at all, but you just want to make something to, for the candle to sit on. So we're just going to pull this apart a little bit to make our base. We're going to bring this around and down and bring it in so it's going pretty good here. And then we can just take the end and bring it in. So at some point you could just like decide to stop it. I guess in theory too, you could even like, if I had brought it around the other way, I could have put the wire up and actually poked it into the candle, but I don't think that's necessary. It's just gonna sit on top. So we're just going to clip that here. And we've got a funny little spiral sticking up thing. So we're gonna to have to flatten it a little bit. So we're just going to push that in to flatten it. So what you can do to flatten it is, if you wanna even out your spiral a bit, you can just wiggle it around a little bit. But what you're going to do is, cause it's sticking out that way, you wanna push it to the other way. So we're gonna push it through a little bit. And it's all in the adjustments. I know we do, we do a lot of freestanding, sculptures and sometimes just getting things to stand on four feet or four wheels it's uh it's very tricky you just have to kind of bend back and forth until they actually uh, settle in a little bit so with time with experience you get used to uh, what way you have to bend the wire to hold it in place and so this is getting pretty flat i guess you can hammer it too if you wanted to hammer it so this is how it looks so far and then you want to bring this one around so you might have to exaggerate it to bring it around so it'll hold in shape and that's another hack that you can do to get wire to stick in place is you bend it beyond where you want it to be and then back and then it'll start to hold in place so you see if i bent it beyond and then it's come back so rather than worrying too much about what to do with this end you can you can clip it you can just clip it off but if you do want it to be more solid start to curve it around a little bit bring it around here and then decide where you want it to be but make sure that your candle is still going to fit on there so say i want to bring it say around here to the back i maybe should have left a little bit more wire but the idea between behind that is you could just bend this and wind it around but you will need to help with your pliers so just take this and around here and then that's going to help to hold it in place there and then what you can do is if you want it like really tight in there you can continue to bend it you can clip it you can pinch it in place. You can just play around with it to see what works best. This wire is quite stiff at 16 gauge, but it's good for more like solid things. So now, yeah, just if you have to push it in a little bit more, just go ahead. This is where you adjust it to see, uh, you know, how it's going to sit in place. And I think I'd rather have this base too big than too small just so the candle is going to sit on it. So now once you're happy with where it is, just give it a good pinch so it'll stay in place. And then now you still have to adjust it a little bit so it's going to sit straight. So we're gonna bring this one up. Just take these, bend them with your pliers. Just bend them around here, and then bend this one around here. And just keep playing with it until you're happy with it. This you might have to push up a bit, bend that around a little bit. And then once you think it's okay, if, if it's rocking, sometimes if you bend it like that way, it's going to hold a little bit better. So now you can just put your little candle here, stick that there. And you'll have a little heart decorative candle holder. So you can check out all the details for the challenge in the description below. If the challenge is already over, no problem. You can still check out the creations in the Facebook event page or on Discord. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share pictures of your wire art creations, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook.
And if you'd like to check out our work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I'll put the link below. And also I have a mailing list, so if you'd like to join the mailing list, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching the video. Thanks to everybody who's participating in the challenge, and we'll see you the next time.